In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your very first project using Unreal Engine 5. So once you are done downloading and installing Unreal Engine 5 and you are inside Epic Games Launcher, you need to click over to the library tab. You have your engine version right here. The first thing you need to do is create a project in order to launch the editor. And you can have as many projects as you need for different purposes, for different things that you're trying to create. And all your projects are going to be shown underneath my project directory. Now for the first time, you will have nothing. This area will be completely empty. So let's create your first project. Go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Project Browser will pop up. You will have an area for your recent projects right here. But of course, you will not have any available because if it's the first time launching, you'll have nothing. So you need to decide what are you going to use Unreal Engine 5 for. So you have four options, games, film and video, architecture, and automotive product design and manufacturing. Each of these contain a different template that enable and disable certain properties and set up the Unreal Engine, the Unreal Editor for that specific purpose. So you can see if you left click on games, you'll have different templates you can create the project for, as well as if you go to film and video, architecture, there are many different templates you can enable and use. So for me, I am going to choose games. And then once you are in the games category or any other category you decide to use this for, then you can choose which template do you want to include with your project, which basically gives you access to some basic gameplay mechanics that will set up the editor to prototype for that specific game type or for that specific purpose if you happen to be using the other three options, film and video, architecture, or automotive. So you have blank, which will not include any gameplay or any game template within it. It'll just be a blank project. Then you have your first person, third person, top down, and so on. So for me, I will choose third person. And within each template, once you've selected one, it'll give you access to another one more screen that you have to make a few decisions on. So in here, you get to choose. Do you want to have your template, your project template, be a blueprint or C++? Now, if you don't have any programming knowledge, I suggest you choose Blueprint. This is the visual scripting language in Unreal, and that's the most common one to choose. Then target platform, I'm going to choose desktop, but you can choose mobile. And all of these settings right here can be changed at any time inside the engine, inside once you launch your project. So these are not final, and they can be changed. So I'm going to choose desktop. Quality preset, I'm going to choose maximum. Starter content. This will give you a folder with starter content that will be a part of your project. It'll include materials, animations, some particles, blueprints, static meshes, textures. So this is a good kind of starting folder where you can just pull content from, reverse engineer some stuff, as well as use it to create with. So I am going to go ahead and enable it, or actually keep it enabled because it's enabled by default. And then if you want to enable ray tracing, if your video card supports it, you can uh, enable it. I'm not going to, I'll leave it off. And then the final step is to decide where do you want to save your project on your computer. By default, it'll be in your C drive. I have a dedicated drive I save my projects into because many of Unreal Engine projects are, tend to be big, especially if you're gonna add some marketplace content into them. So you can navigate into a folder into another drive somewhere by clicking on this folder right here. and then you define a project name. So I'm gonna name this one my first project. So avoid any spaces, because Unreal does not like spaces. If you have to use a, a separation, just do an underscore. It also does not like dashes. So the only thing you could use to define some kind of a, a space between each word is an underscore. I'll keep no space, I'll, I'll do just a single word without any underscores, my first project. And then once you've set everything up, go ahead and hit create. This will take less than a minute, maybe a little bit more depending on your system. And let Unreal Engine 5 create the project and launch the editor. Once the editor has been launched, there are a couple of things I want to point out that you should know. So first, you will have autosave enabled. So basically Unreal Engine 5 will autosave your content for you automatically uh, after so many minutes. I particularly don't like that option and I usually turn that off. If you are a beginner with this, I would suggest you leave it on. However, I am going to disable it. I do this for every project. 
So I'm going to go to edit, edit the preferences under loading and saving. I'm going to go ahead and disable auto save and close that down. Next, whenever a new project is launched for the first time, you will have a template that will be loaded in depending on which template that you included as part of your project. So I used third person. So that's the map that gets loaded in. So this is kind of like a starting map content that you can just uh, spawn and uh, kind of take a, take a look around the editor and see the kind of the environment. So basically this is uh, the loaded map that always gets loaded in and your map may be different depending on the game template that you chose. If you want to get access to a blank map or any other templates that are available with UE5, you would go to file, new level, and you can choose one of these to load in instead. And that's how you set up and create a new map. You can open up an open world map that has some content in it, or you can do an empty one, as well as for the basic. Empty or that has already kind of a basic setup for you. Another thing I want to point out, because I've included a template with my project. If you press control spacebar, this will open up content browser. And then here you will see a few folders that have been added in because we included the template and starter content. So characters, level prototyping, and third person. These folders and the content inside it has been included because I use the third person game template. Your folders might be different depending on which template you decided to include. And also starter content. This is where you get a bunch of textures, materials, blueprint, animation, and static meshes to use because we kept that starter content checkbox enabled when we created the project. And you can see there's a lot of content in here that you can use to create with right off the bat. That's already part of your project. In order to get rid of this content browser, just hit control spacebar again, and this will toggle the content browser on and off. If you ever need to add starter content or a template into an existing project, let's say you forgot to add it, you created a blank project, and you did not include starter content, but you want to do so into an existing project, you can do this at any time by going into the content browser, control spacebar, or just click on this content drawer icon to bring it up. Then you go to add, and then here at the very top you have add feature or content pack. And here you can add a blueprint template that you saw in the project creation screen into an existing project, as well as go over into content and add starter content. If I go back into the Epic Games Launcher, note one thing, that once you've created your project, you will be able to launch that project to continue working with everything that you've been saving and bring it in into that project inside your My Project section. So here's the project that we just created. So next time when you want to work on your project, you simply come over here and double click on this icon to launch the project. And if you want to create a brand new project, then you have to come up here and launch the Unreal Project Browser and repeat the steps that we just went through in the beginning. If you want to get access to where this project is stored, come over to your project section, find your project, you right click on it, and open will of course open the project, or you can show in folder. Show in folder will take you right into the directory of where this project is stored. And this is where we define the project directory in our project creation screen. So this is all the files that are contained with it. And inside the content folder, this is where those folders for starter content are, as well as for third person template and the folders that you saw inside the content browser. So that way you at least know where your content is being held inside your project. And if you ever need to delete an existing project, that you just want to completely, you know, just delete it and wipe out. Maybe you want to start a new one. You right click on your icon, on your project icon and choose delete. And this will completely remove it from your computer. So this is how you create your first project and a few useful tips about the project itself.